is on Friday night shenanigans and the Diablo 1 Hellfire. This is the co version I'm playing and sorry for it being so loud, I don't have the options to choose the audio and my mixer is very low so this is just how the menu sound is. And I'll talk along after we choose and begin. Let me choose the rogue because I cleared the game with the warrior multiple times, with the sorcerer as well, but with the rogue and the monk, only with the rogue only once I think, and with the monk, I don't know if I if I if I actually finished it with the monk, to be honest. Okay, let's enter our name. Let's go with this. And this is a new thing in Hellfire. In normal Diablo 1, you couldn't choose this in single player. You had to do multiplayer or, or LAN if you wanted to play on higher difficulties while not playing battle mats. So, yeah, we'll go with normal for now. And we need to go lower. Because, whoa, that was too loud. But I love the music here, and I also love the voice acting here. It's top notch if you ask me, top notch. So, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with the old Diablo 1, still remember, still remember playing it as a child. Ah, fond memories. Let me just check if I'm recording. Yeah, it seems so. So now that we've taken care of the obnoxiously loud sound, I don't know why they don't give you options in the menu to do that, but old school, eh? The only thing we start with is a hundred gold pieces, a bow, and two potions. I like the paper doll, and I also like the in-game... in-game... the graphics and the items in the inventory. Hello, my friend! Stay a while and listen. Oh, yes. Griswold, a man of great action and great Love courage. The voice I bet he never told you about the time he went into the labyrinth to save work. No, he didn't. Okay, let's let's go. Um, what ails you, my friend? Pepin, he'll um, sell you healing potions. No auto map. This is Griswold. He's the blacksmith. Well, what can I you do can for you? You can basically buy normal items or magic items from him. If you have the money. Um, he also repairs. If you're a warrior, you can repair as a skill. The rogue has trap disarm, so... That's one thing. Ev everyone had something unique. Well, I don't remember if the sorcerer actually had. He had a staff that enabled him to charge bolts from the start. Thank goodness you returned. Much changed since you lived here, my friend. All was oh, peaceful yeah. until See, the Dark changed. Riders came and destroyed our so, village. So yeah, like I said, Many I were actually cut finished down with the Sorcerer and Warrior and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged but away to become the rogue slaves. Didn't, or worse, I didn't like the Rogue playstyle, to be edge honest. Of town has been desecrated Most of the time. Used for dark rituals. And the screams that echo in the night um, are inhuman. But some of our townsfolk may way yet survive. Combat is Follow implemented the path here. that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Okay. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. We all need that. So let's go. Oops, sorry, that's out of sheer <laughs> um, muscle memory. And what I see, they implemented faster walking here. Um, the Hellfire, I don't remember that. Honestly, didn't play Hellfire that much. I played Diablo 1 Classic a lot. But the Hellfire expansion, not so much. So, the Wounded Please, Talisman listen to me. actually the Archbishop um, enables us to you let us down do here the to Butcher find the Quest. Lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone yeah. is dead. Killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Oh, Avenge oh, us! Find this oh, and Jesus, slam, those memories so are that coming our back. Souls may finally rest. So yeah, this is Diablo 1. The Honestly, sanctity of this place has, has been, been fouled. fouled. There is not much that can beat this old school climate atmosphere that this has. Even though it's not flashy. Well, not now, not at the first level. But if you play the mage, it's, it's actually quite flashy for its time. But yeah, 
And like I was saying, actually don't favor the rogue due to this combat style. That's why I played her the least. Even though, even though, if I'm being quite honest, playing the warrior is even worse of the because of the playstyle. Um, because they implemented kind of a a really weird AI here. Uh, not that it's um. Well, sort of, it is sort of input reading. Maybe not precisely input reading, but it kind of... Every time you play warrior and something uses range attacks, be it magic or arrows like we do now, it's kind of impossible to hit them normally. When you're playing warrior, you need to... You need to have put on the old Benny Hill music and run around. I've had multiple instances where I ran through nearly the whole level after two guys or three guys, especially in the Hellfire expansion. Because when you're playing Warrior, they try to shoot you and then they run when you go towards them. And you can't do a little finagling and try to trap them because they know. They know because Blizzard implemented it like that. That they kinda know where you're going and dick moves. Yep, dick moves. From what I remember it's because they weren't quite sure how to do it, and there's also the way the levels are implemented, which is also weird. Because either the lack of experience or with this type of game or or they needed to do it quickly. I don't remember, I remember reading about it. And even watching, I think, a document on it. Um, have some scrolls here, and as you saw, we got a book. Um, you learn spells here, everyone can learn them from books. Probably we cannot use this, no, because it requires 25 magic. We have 15. As for the stats, um, in contrast to Diablo 2, in Diablo 1, each class has quite um, strictly planned um, attribute maxes, attribute levels, because attributes here you can pump how many skill points you have. Different classes have different maximum values of attributes. From what I remember, for example, the warrior has only 50, um, ma he can only get 50 in magic. That's why um, to learn spells with the warrior, because there are some spells that are quite useful even on the warrior. I remember we always learned um, back in the day, Stone Curse, which basically petrifies the enemies for a while and lets you wail on them. And Mana Shield, because that gives additional survivability here. And to circumvent that, because the limits are only for natural um, attribute points, the way the, those that you give on level. So to circumvent that, we actually used items that we called Reading Glasses. Um, back in the day, I don't know if you... You wouldn't call them now that. You just basically call them stat sticks. But yeah, we used reading glasses. And those were items that gave you bonus plus to magic. And that can go above your class's maximum. So we had a bunch of stuff in our inventory. And every time. Sorry. <coughs> I have some throat problems. And every time we went to town, we basically just dumped them. Because if you don't save an exit. Um, things don't um, disappear from town, so we've always carried them with us, dropped them in town, and only picked them up when we either went saving and quitting, or we wanted to learn a spell. So, yeah, if you're gonna see me doing that, you now know why. Shrines. Shrines give um, certain attacks here, and they can range from positive, well, depending on how you view them. Um, like, for example, I don't remember what's the name of the shrine, but when you click it, and there's a prompt, Crimson and Azure become the sun. And that shrine changes your healing and mana potions to rejuvenation potions. That's a cool one. But there are shrines that take some from your attributes and give to other attributes. There are shrines that, I think, affect your item durabilities, etc, etc. I don't remember what that one does, I don't think I'll touch it. 
And I don't have a cheat sheet with me. I need to do one. Forgot about that. So yeah. We'll pick this up, so. Or use if our bow breaks, because as you see, we don't have arrows, but it sorry, does have durability, and basically shooting the bow repeatedly breaks it. Yeah, go figure. Um That's how they did it in Diablo 1. I like to do a clean level before I proceed further down. Especially since this game does not pull its punches. I remember, um, if for those not familiar with Diablo 1, um, we always um, checked every nook and cranny, and then on level I think it was 3, etc. There was one room um, closed off, and we were like, oh yeah, what is this? And there wasn't internet. We didn't have internet and then, when I was playing it. And no one knew, and you couldn't check, so yeah, we just opened the room, out came the butcher, and he basically bodied us <laughs> without problems. So yeah, we quickly learned to leave the butcher for a while and come back later. Unless, unless you can lock him like this, have a bar, and you just stand here and shoot him, or if you're a mage, you use spells. Although spells aren't that good of an option, because he has some resistance. But I did kill him once with scrolls, the mage, and with chargers, and staff. I think it was with Inferno. Inferno was quite a nice spell. Inf no, Firewall. Because Firewall is pretty imba here. Place some firewalls, and the, you just hear uh, 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 from outside the wall. And that's how the butcher dies. See? Kinda do input reading a bit. That's what I was talking about. It's quite hard to to um, hit them sometimes, especially the faster ones. They kinda know where you're aiming and where you're going when you're clicking, and that's because the way it's implemented. I don't remember the reason for that, and I knew there was a reason. This was in the article I was reading from the old Blizzard North devs. Um, also, they they kind of do, did the levels weird. There's sort of a tile set placed upon a a rigid level, or sort of peak, or or the the levels the, only the floor, and they placed the the walls later. There's something funky about that because they couldn't think about a way to do it properly and to generate it properly. So kind of did it in a roundabout way because well yeah lack of experience but it's cool it's cool and see the in inventory graphics are are quite nice yeah search i like using scrolls from time to time search is a in hellfire i think it, they gave monk that it basically highlights stuff on the floor because you don't have any like in diablo 2 and newer ARPGs, the ability to press ALT or any shortcut to highlight your items. We just had to listen. If a monster dies and you hear a ding, it means a jewelry dropped. And other um, various distinct noises for armor, for weapons. And then we knew, and for gold, that something is somewhere on the floor and you just went pixel hunting for it. Which was kinda had its own charm. Wouldn't want to go back to that, but it had its charm back then. It frustrated us to no end, but but it was kind of cool. Um, so we oh a helmet. So I think we can use it. So yeah, um, like I said, the warrior has this where the enemies just go and run around and you have to catch them but same goes for the rogue the minuses of the rogue is that she's well the con the pro is she's safe from damage quite a lot because you basically kill things before they get to you and it doesn't use mana like the mage the sorcerer sorry but faster enemies or leather enemies they just strafe and you can't hit them with arrows because if something goes straight like this towards you, you can shoot them, but if it goes strafing like that, nothing can hit it from what I remember. That's because of the implementation. 
so you wanna strafe where there's a lot of archers. Um, unless they patch this, because I think it, it, that was how it worked. Because, forgive me, but it's been a long time since I dwelled into the mechanics of Diablo 1. There were, there were some kind of cool stuff here, like, for example, there was a d different variants you later on meet different... different? Different variants of enemies. Like different variants of zombies, of skeletons, etc. Which is normal for these types of games. But, for example, there was one um, zombie, which I remember clearly. It was a... with a yellow I golden can't carry hue. Anymore. And if it hits you, it permanently takes a point of vitality from you. So you wanna watch out. The cap is clearly um, lever, but clearly metallic sound. One armor cap, a low durability, but well, we can't be... beggars can't be choosers right now. A staff of firebolt, which we can swap in. And notice you don't have two weapon sets, you only have one, so you can you need to quick swap if you wanna use that. You also don't have any... I don't think there was any... Um, way to bind uh, abilities. No, there was no bindings. So, gotta do it the hard way. Also, there were unique enemies. Um, not only the Butcher. And I remember on... don't remember on which level it was. On second level, I think? You can meet the Chupacabra, for example. And... Or there's King Leoric. There's... There's Barnar from Barnar Star, the, the gold man, if you remember the item from Diablo 2. Okay, I also need to, to use those um, stat points. Um, let me go 5 in vitality and 5 in dexterity for now. I am a. Um, wow, how do you. How do you say it? I am actually of the mind that I don't do um, 2, 1, etc. in stats. I on level give 5. Give all the points to a stat I wanna give to. I always did it like that in all the Diablo games and all other RPGs that have attributes. Kinda preferred way to do it, unless we have on level different, um, different amount of attributes than 5. <laughs> But uh, it kind of works the same with me. I go all in. Unless, unless I have a strictly a a um, a item. Sorry, I want to equip. I don't know what's with my thinking. Oh yeah, first variant of a zombie, rotting carcass. It's different color, and as you saw, it's quite beefier. Oh, and also. Quite an interesting thing they did. I don't know if we can see it now. Probably not. Um, when you kill enough enemies, and if I find one, I will show you. There is a name here when I target an enemy and a kill counter. If you kill more and more of them, I don't remember the threshold, you can get additional info here about them, which was extremely cool. I always thought it was now, extremely cool. Now where would cool. I put this? See? Total kills zero, because this is a new variant of a skeleton. Also, can't get the cap. No, no inventory Tetris would help us with this. Also, do I have a scroll of town portal? You don't start with scrolls, with much scrolls, so... If you wanna go back, at, at first, you need to kinda... You need to kinda do some legwork, you know? It's not like... It's not like in Diablo 2 where you get one. Oh, see? That was a unique, a rare, I mean, um, mob. And you see it on the UI. Oh, we have information. See, scavenger. No magic resistance. 20 kills gave us some more info. And as you s well saw, there was some level up, but there wasn't any noise or graphical information about that. As you can see here, the name is in golden, the stats as well, and he has additional new things. And it's significantly beefier. Need to get a better bow. That's why I'm not 
getting any stats for now, because I don't remember the stats for the bow. I think it's mainly dex, but I don't remember if, for example, war bows didn't need some strength. Strength is needed mainly for melee weapons, but I think also for armor? Ooh, book of healing. Now where would I put this? Yeah, where would you put this? Here, for example. Can I? Of course I cannot. 17, I have 15. Will not give stats to it. Oh, yeah, and why? Because the max level here is 50, unless they changed it in the Hellfire expansion, which I don't remember. And yeah, in the vanilla it was 50. So be sure to watch out when you're giving stats, because the max level ain't that big. Of course, while playing normal vanilla, single player, you won't have access to um, difficulty levels because single player didn't have those. Um, uh, yeah, so you probably won't ever get 50 in a normal game. Unless you can try. Well, there's... You can go multi multiplayer. And it's, and it's not that bad, you can you miss out on some quests, because some quests aren't not spawn in multiplayer games, but you can do a LAN and play by yourself to get access to the difficulty levels. The enemies change to beefier ones, and I think the kind of other tables with stats, drops, XP, etc. changes. Don't quote me on that, but definitely the health changes, and definitely their armor changes and damage. I can't carry anymore. Okay, so we're full. I'm gonna use the score of healing. We'll loosen up some space, and yeah, we needed that. So, any any scroll of town portals? No, no scroll of town portals. Because why would there be? If I don't get a scroll of town portal on this level, I will backtrack to town by foot and buy one. Because you don't want to go to the lower levels without scrolls. I remember. Remember? Sorry. I seem to talk today. I remember clearly when I was younger and playing this, I have some scrolls, go back from level, I don't know, 10 or something, um, or 6, or whatever. No, 6 and 10, I think it would not be a problem because you open up different exits towards town on threshold levels. But if you're not on a threshold level and you need to go to town and you're like me and forget to buy town portal scrolls and run out, you need to gallop five floors up or whatever and yeah, just do it the old fashioned way and that way you learn to not forget about your town portal. Oh, learn the spell. One I have more no up. room. Identify. Do I have anything to identify? Yes, I do. Might as well use a scroll. Plus one to vitality. Okay. Now, where was that scroll? Here it is. Is it a mace? Yeah, I'm gonna need that cheat sheet. Short sword, why not? I just need to lose the dagger. I can't carry yeah, anymore. Yeah, this is not enough. We go with another... Really, dude? I mean, girl. So, okay, we got the short sword. Also, one thing that frustrated me when I was young, and I think all other, all other players, was that gold takes space in inventory. Wouldn't be that bad if... If you didn't have a max level of gold, you can have in one pile, which was 5,000. Seems like a lot, believe me, it is not. We kinda... Um, had a joke that we were um, planting... Um, how did we say that we're planting um, wheat? Because you go to town and to have inventory space you just drop the gold and there were, there were a lot of fields of gold there. We were laughing that it, there were there were wheat fields because of the color. Ah, good times, good times indeed. So let's get the magic one. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. That ain't nice, dude. That ain't nice. Okay, so we also see that they're immune to magic. Now we can see the hit points of the scavengers, because we killed as much. Shadow. Ooh, we have two rails in one room. That's un uncommon, I think. Also, what's that on the floor? Hellfire added a bunch of new items, so... Yeah, runes are one can't of them. Can't carry anymore. I'm not, not as familiar with Hellfire items as I am with the original items. So runes, oils, etc. are kinda sometimes, you know, for me. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Can kinda confuse me sometimes. So if I start to wander, don't have it against me. So, yeah, I need to go back and buy some scrolls, because there's a lot of things here. And, for example, we want that. Oh, okay, we're kind of getting our stuff destroyed. We want that Book of Healing, because here um, you don't get skill points um, when you level up, as you saw. So, how do you level up your spells? You get additional books, and you read the books, and you get better at the spell. Sort of kind of logical, but also kind of cool. Kind of cool. And our bow is just destroyed. Um, we'll swap it. If it destroys, because there was a bow that was on the ground. So we don't have to buy one immediately, unless we see a good one in town. With some stats on it. Maybe... Okay, yeah, now this, this is just done, so... And yeah, 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 another thing I forgot. Do not, do not let your items go broke, because it's not like Diablo 2. They don't stay in your inventory, they disappear. And, you know, when that good sword that you spent a lot of gold on, or had a lucky drop disappears, it's... you're gonna have a bad time, you know? So let's get back. I have no room. I know you don't have any room. Believe me, I do. So we need to run back to the town. Fortunately, the first levels are, are quite the, the the stairs are quite close to each other. So, whoops, I went the wrong way. So that's not a big deal. Anywho, yeah, I kind of wanted this. Um, since we're playing disciples too, I kind of wanted to go back even more, play something cool from the time. Something I remember playing. I remember even playing this with my brother on our PS1 on one screen. It, it, did, it did have a PS1 version and you played on this screen. You There were two characters, there were no split screen mode, there was two characters on one screen and you couldn't get, um, couldn't go further away than the screen's distance. It was hectic, but it was fun as heck. It was extremely Whoa, fun. What can I do for you? Okay, what can we sell? Well, the maze. 150 isn't bad. But as for the others, we kinda need to identify this stuff. But this is where Gris not Griswold, this is where Kane Hello, comes. my friend! Stay a while play. and listen. And yes, you have to pay Kane here. So Ooh, this I will keep. Those are reading glasses. Quite nice ones. Whoa, plus eight. what can I do for you? This I will definitely keep. So, this. And as you can see, as you saw, I cannot sell books or scrolls to Griswold. Unfortunately, this is all. Well, what can I do for you? For another vendor, which you probably know who this is, but I will show you regardless. So let's first see about some basic items. The mouse wheel doesn't work here, so click. Um, Hunter's bow. Yeah, like I thought, does indeed require strength. But how about some premium items? Ooh, that's nice, but that's also quite expensive. That is also nice. I would get some books done if I get that, but that's kinda 
It's kind of steep for that. We could go for the armor, though. Just in case. Well, not much. Well, what can I do for you? of bows, unless I want that hunter bow. V fifty. Yeah, three fifty full durability. I'll get it instead of repairing this one. Well, what can I do for you? Yeah. I won't repair the cap because we found that and it sucks. Doesn't make a big difference, so we'll let it be destroyed. I sense a soul in search of answers. Ah, good old Adria. With that nice voice of hers. I like this incarnation of Adria. Why not? 140. Not bad at all. Anything to sell? No. We'll use those. So we'll go like this. Five here. Five here. Whoops. Still room. Still can get used to that escape doesn't... Doesn't... Oh, I forgot. See? It's quite easy to forget those scrolls. And I still can get used to that escape doesn't cancel the I menus. Sense a soul in so you have, you have a scroll of town portal. They're not cheap. They're not cheap at the beginning, you know? So, you gotta watch out for that. The good old Tristram music. Oh, this is awesome music. I forgot how great it was, how atmospheric it was, you know? Sometimes you just, you just long for those times when you heard that and could play this sort of a game, you know? I need to do this for now. So yeah, we'll do some Tetris. And I'm damaged from what I can see, so let's go to Pepin first. Hope I remember good that it won't disappear. No, I think it won't. Just can't exit. What ails you, my out. friend? Okay. Healed. Thank you, Pepin. Now also we didn't um for the quests that are randomly, because there's a bunch of quests that are randomly selected. And now I can see that we don't have the underwater um, reservoir, the fountain quest, because if we had, this fountain would be yellow instead of blue, and you'd have to defeat enemies to purify the water. So, yeah, you also don't always get the butcher, I don't think so, so you can actually not get that guy. Yeah, it was like that. It was like that. But it made it kind of interesting when you replayed it. There were a bunch of quests that differed. So... Oh, wrong way. So they did actually put some work into replayability. I'm gonna hand them that. So first things first, let's see... About some of those items that were lying around. Cap when our breaks. And this rune, which I don't remember them. This buckler. Scroll, we could we can sell saber and a potion of mana. Good. Good, good, good. Now we can explore some more. Yeah. Good old explosive barrels. I can't shoot them from a distance if that's why you're wondering what I don't do. Why I don't do that. Fortunately, you can't. If I try to shoot them right like this, it just flies by. If you ask me why, don't know. Can't tell. That's how they implemented it. No barrel destroying logic to attacks. If you want it to destroy a barrel, you have to click a barrel. That's how they did it. So it's an on click action. And from what I can see, yeah, here's the good old butcher. We don't stand a chance on this level against the butcher, so I'll get back to him later. He is extremely difficult for the level that he is on, so I think it's. He is... Now where would I put this? Interesting. He is actually a trap for first time players, I think. Um, see, still pressing the escape. 
because if you don't know, you open that, you're dead. And you'll be dead for... Well, very many times if you try him on this level with this sort of equipment that you have. And see? Does not destroy barrels. Click does. Shooting does not. Yep. It is like that. So same goes with spells. So if you're a wizard, sorcerer, sorry, you need to go close and hit him with your staff. And be in a lot of trouble if something explodes and there are monsters in the other. So it, it is like that. It was like that. And I still think it's cool. And I adore the voice acting. It had extremely good voice acting. I am quite in awe how they did that. Don't know who plays who, but kudos, really. More vitality, so we can survive being clobbered. Also, you can get stunned if you get hit with more than... I don't remember if it was percentage of your health or, or something like that the attack takes. Um, but you can get stun locked later on by the monsters quite easily, believe me. And I have no room. especially if someone remembers fighting against Diablo and him using a special spell called, called Apocalypse. It stunned the heck out of him. And that's why it was a difficult fight. Quite difficult fight. Ooh. Now where would I put this? Yeah, well... Well, well you kind of need to put this somewhere. Let's do this. Because I don't want to give up this armor. As you can see, it has a lot more than that. Oh, this sets up a trap. Interesting. Like I said, not that familiar with the Hellfire expansion. And also, if I recall, the Hellfire expansion wasn't exactly done by Blizzard as well. And they were. I don't, I don't remember if it was they had a lot of work or they were working something else or it was contracted by the publisher instead of the. I don't remember how it was, but wasn't it Sierra or someone that did it? Something like that, I think. Now let's get a couple of them. You can always sell them at the start if you don't use those potions. If you're not a mage. Anywho, let's clear out here. Easy does it, easy does it. Rogue and the Sorcerer have the advantage of clearing things before they can get to you. Later on there will be enemies that will throw whoa, 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 trap spells at you, so... So even they are not as safe as one would think. And especially the mage, since if you... well, if you get a look, a closer look, you can see that I'm slinging those arrows quite fast, but mage, you actually have sort of a cast time on spells. It's not so much of a cast time that you need to... the animation needs to go through. You can be stunned out of that animation and you can get clobbered quite easily by enemies, so you kind of need to watch out. The mage is quite a Benny Hill show. You're running around the level, trying to stay and cast a spell and hope that one cast kills everything because otherwise there's a lot more running to be in position to actually hit anything. Oh, and there is friendly fire here. And you're wondering how does that affect you if you play single player? Yeah, it does. Because I found out the hard way that if you set up a firewall you can die from your own firewall <laughs> quite easily, because it's a strong spell. So watch out for those firewalls that you set up. Oh, the hidden. Hidden are a cool enemy, because, as you can see, they're actually hidden. And in this dark and murky um, graphic tile set, sometimes you can have problems seeing the hidden. Ooh, firewall. Now where would I put this? Really? 
I mean, yeah, if I can't use the scroll, I can't uh, put it in the hot bar. God. Okay, can I use a... Yeah. So, definitely want a firewall. Maybe we'll use it against the butcher, or... How much money? How much money? How much mana? 17. Not that bad. Not that bad. Let me check how long... Gotta watch out for those barrels as well. In this game, it's quite easy to die at the beginning. I can't carry anymore. Really, it is. So, it's your first time. Be careful. And you like Diablo 2 at the beginning. That one is more forgiving, believe it or not. Let me check. How long are we going? 40 minutes. Hmm. Okay, I alt tab and it didn't work for a second. Whoa, that was a close one. So, you know what? I will actually use scroll of town portal. You can name it. Quite cool. Yeah, everything's still laying about, so that's great. We'll identify stuff to sell the stuff. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. And also sometimes. If you have crappy luck, you get crap items, which you identify and they are worth less <laughs> than the cost. Well, so, what can I do for you? Yeah, see? Cost a hundred to identify it, selling for sixty-five. But that's only at the beginning, there's that risk. I don't remember if later on later on I don't think it's like that. We'll keep the oils. I will talk what to ails you, my friend? Pepin to get healed and we'll sell the staff to Adria. Because we need the money. I sense a soul in search of answers. Of course you do. Um, I think I'll sell the scroll as well. Yeah, Inferno Cost requires more magic than Firewall. As for Firewall, I'd rather get a book and use the reading glasses to actually learn it than use a scroll, because even if you have less mana when you um, de-equip the reading glasses after learning, you still retain the spell and that means you can cast now it. Now we can't carry this. Anymore. 30 strength. I nearly have it. Nearly have it. The next level will get to 30 strength and I will learn some of those spells. So yeah, that's how it was back in the day. It has its charm. It really does. So, if there's a nice deal on it, I think it's, it's worth a try if you have the spare coins. So yeah, I think we'll do a bunch of levels. I don't know if we'll finish it on the shenanigans or if I will show you every level, but I want to spend some time here and go on a nostalgia trip with you. So if you have anything to write, please do in the comments and see ya. Cześć.